When I was small, I had many different likes and dislikes and many different passions. I wanted to be a fighter pilot at one time, a racing car driver. Grew a little bit older, I started playing a few sports. I was passionate about a few of them. Got a bit older, got a bit mature. Got a few harsh lessons from my parents, especially my mother, about the importance of making sure that I did my schoolwork alongside all the sports I played. And I realized that, okay, if I wanted to be really passionate about something, there's a few things that you have to do to kind of lay the foundation. It's the same when I started playing cricket for Sri Lanka. Now, I had followed my academic career and made the decision to pursue cricket as not just my profession, but something that I passionately love. Now, to get to that stage, to be good enough to play for your country and to have a long international career and do the one thing that you're passionate about, I realized I had to do a few other things. I had to endure long hours of coaching. I also had to go to the gym. I had to do long hours of fitness. I had to travel. So, when you talk about doing something that you're passionate about and you love, there's also the flip side of it, which is sacrifice, hard work, commitment, dedication. And these are not all new things. These are what all of you do on a daily basis. You cannot achieve, you cannot follow your heart, you cannot follow your passion and do what you love and be happy without sacrifices made, sweat, toil and sometimes blood. But the real question that you have to ask yourself is at the end of the day, was it worth it? And have you led a life that is so positive and good that your happiness has not only made your life better, but through your life, other lives have also followed and been pulled up to live a more positive, beneficial life.